Good afternoon, I'm Randall McMurphy, well, the ghost of Randall McMurphy, and today I will be documenting my life to you. My story begins when I was sentenced to go to prison. Instead, I declared insanity, and so I was transferred into a mental institution, since it's a lot more comfortable than prison. I met one of my closest friends there, Bromden, the son of a Native American chief. While I was there, I noticed a tall woman, Nurse Ratchet, or as Chief Brandon refers to her as Big Nurse. And let me tell you, she was the coldest, most heartless woman I have ever met. I had to do something about her. We never got along. One thing led to another, and so my hands ended up tightly hugging her throat. As punishment for my actions, she put me in a vegetative state. Bromden then had to take my life to end my suffering, but then he managed to escape from the ward. In my afterlife, I had a chance to meet none other than Prince Hamlet. We spent a lot of time together, which was a decent time, but he would often ramble on and on about what could have been, and the time he's wasted trying to avenge his father. His words had a big impact on me. I spent a lot of time thinking about my past life. All my potential gone to waste. I mean, sure I did a lot for the guys at the war, but gambling my life away to be the hero might not have been worth it at the time. To be or not to be, that is the question. I'm sure we've all heard this famous quote, but I've heard him say those words to me about a trillion times. It means a lot to me. Much like Hamlet himself, I was caught up in the idea of revenge. I was driven by hate. It cost me my freedom, and eventually, my life. After spending two months being lectured by him, I decided it would be best to keep a safe distance from Hamlet for a while. I then came across a great woman by the name of Antigone, a real figure of power and determination. Her actions to defy and choose her own fate reflects upon my own rash and extreme decision making. One of her encounters with her sister is Mimi right before she died demonstrates her choice to sacrifice her life to save her sisters. I'll never forget her description. Oh say, if I can help thee even now. No, save thyself, I grudge not thy escape. Is even this boon denied to share thy lot? Yeah, for thou chosest life, and I to die. Antigone's sacrifice is noble. She acts within reason and with purpose. Much like myself, I aggravated Nurse Ratched out of pure hatred for the woman. However, over time my actions were not personal. I acted for the better of the people, similarly to Antigone's situation. Therefore, all of our stories lead to one final conclusion. Do not let hatred and vengeance drive you. We should all fight for what we believe in, however we must also be careful of the rage that provokes us.